Money, bribery allegations, and attempts to get the charges against Tex MacGyver dropped. It was another whirlwind day in court today. Now, the prosecution wrapped up, wrapped up its case, working to convince jurors that MacGyver, once a prominent attorney, killed his wife Diane for financial gain. Well, now it's the defense's turn. Fox News Angelique Proctor has followed every moment of the trial and joins us now live. Angelique? Sinead, the defense began its case talking about money. It has been a recurring theme in this entire trial. They are trying to prove that Tex MacGyver didn't shoot Diane for her money because he had wealth of his own. There's been some discussion of how to get the charges dropped or reduced. Crisis communications consultant Jeff Dickerson says his role with the Tex MacGyver shooting case was clear. Get the criminal charges against the Atlanta attorney to go away or be reduced. Dickerson says he was stunned when MacGyver asked him to split a potential success fee with Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard. And when it became clear to me that he was talking about sharing money, with the district attorney, I told him that under no, uns no uncertain terms that I would never make such an offer to the district attorney and he would never accept it. The very least an unethical thing to do and at most illegal. Despite what the state calls a bribery attempt, Dickerson admitted he signed a contract and made more than $31,000 working for Tex McIver. The defense also questioned Dickerson's timing because he didn't mention the comment until a year later. They say Dickerson got the wrong impression. Mr. McGuire never said to you, tell Paul Howard if the charges are dropped, there'll be money in it for him. Did it? No. After nearly 70 witnesses in 16 days, the state finally rested its murder case against Atlanta attorney Tex McIver. And with that announcement, Judge, um, at this time, um, the state of Georgia would rest its case. And that came after 16 very long days. The defense is now up. They have adjourned for the day, but they say they'll need a couple of two or three days to present their case. Reporting live in downtown, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. Thank you, Angelique.